just do music really well and just enjoy the process rather than having to expect anything from ha specific from mm. happening from it. Just another topic I wanted to ask you, um, obviously, if only if you feel comfortable talking about it, but in those yeah. uh, photos, you mentioned a few times about burnout. Uh, yeah. Uh, once or twice, like burn, burning out quite heavily. Um, I don't know if you you just tell me a bit about those experiences, if it was like music related yeah. or, or not, because I think a lot, a lot of people might go through similar experiences. Totally. Um, and honestly, like, this is like one of my biggest weaknesses is my ability to like prioritize things and, and when you're kind of on the treadmill of life per se, you can very easily get caught up in what's happening in front of you. And I like, I, I'm, I'm still struggling with this thing. And a lot of the reasons I've had burnout is just not being able to juggle all the things I'm committed to. So like when I was, when I was in uni, I would be studying full time. I would be, uh, working part time. So I worked at an Apple store for a year and a half, um, while I was in uni and even though I was part time, a lot of times I'd be working like five days a week. Um, and it was a very emotionally draining job. Like I was in like the genius bar. So I don't know if you're familiar with the Apple store, but that's basically no. where people come when they're not happy and something okay. and then you kind of, <laughs> you kind of have to deal with them. And it's like not only fixing their issue, but like, like, th like, you know, th there's emotions that are attached to that. Being so, a therapist at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, honestly, it was like a lot of empathy involved with the job yeah. and, and that's great. And I think it needs to happen, but I'm a, I'm kind of an introvert, like kind of blur the line between introvert and extrovert, but like, I definitely feel like I'd need time to myself and it wasn't very, to be honest, looking back, it wasn't a very suitable job for me. It was mm. very draining and I was working there a lot and studying, um, business and it and, I was also trying to do like music and I had this desire to like make it into a career somehow. And I was engaged, um, you know, I had a girlfriend then got engaged and now married and like, it's just a lot, man. And mm -hmm. then all the other little things that happened in life, you know, personal family issues. And mm -hmm. basically early 2017, I got to this point where I was just like done. Like I was like, I had to leave my job pretty much. Um, I had to drop back to two sub two part-time uni pretty much um sometimes halfway between and i think um yeah i, I guess if you're if pe like a lot of people um you know who are pursuing music it, it, the reality is it's tough because you really enjoy it and even if you're not wanting to specifically make a career out of it which the more and more i've thought about this is like you can just do music really well and just enjoy the process rather than having to expect anything from ha specific from mm. happening from it and i think if i look back on, on things now i would just focus on making the music i wanted to make and not expecting anything to happen and i think ironically things would have happened in a completely different different mm. way not to say i regret the experiences i had because they informed me yeah of, of like you know things i can do now to combat that but yeah i think just um like one not doing too much like it's important that you have time despite the fact that you might have a family or work full time or have a lot of other commitments it's important to like have a decent amount of time to prioritize towards music if it's important to you mm. and i think i didn't have that even though i wanted to and then when i would work on music i'd be too exhausted and it was just this endless cycle mm. that's kind of why i got burned out and it happened multiple times um it happened again in late 2018 um, I, I kind of was finishing up with uni and really wanted to like try and make music work and somehow make a living off it, but it just wasn't working. And yeah. I kind of been like, nah, I'm done. I'm done. Like expecting anything to happen from music. I'm just going to enjoy it now. And I kind of yeah. took a break from it and then realigned. And that funnily enough is when I kind of also questioned, you know, what do I want to be making? And then that's kind mm -hmm. of where I settled on drum and bass eventually. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So yeah, it, burnout's real. Um, in my case, it wasn't like specifically from like, um, like doing, it was, it was from, it was specifically from expecting too much of myself, I think. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. and yeah, so yeah, it's real. Um, it can happen even if you're like 
just like looking at people and what they're achieving. I think that contributes to it. Like you see all your successful friends or even if it's like, oh, they just released a song or they just mm. did this and you're like, oh man, I wish I had this song out on this label. <laughs> like, yeah. like it happens to all of us, even to the, even the, the most small amount, like yeah. it's, it's a real, real struggle. So, and that was definitely part of it for me too, is just the comparison thing. So yeah, yeah a lot of those things contributed in me bur being burned out. So yeah. 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 yeah, definitely the the music aspect with the the pressure of releasing is a topic that comes up quite often. Um, it's like you you see music coming out every day, and some artists releasing a lot of music very often. And if mm. if you're not quite uh, as productive or for whatever reason, uh, it can feel like a weight on your shoulders to be making more music and releasing more. Uh, yeah. And it's 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 not easy to kind of step outside of that and just be comfortable with whatever pace you want to follow in terms of making music and releasing music. Um, mm, just, yeah. yeah. Social media also definitely, it's the amalgamation of everyone delivered to you. Like, like imagine like a newspaper was delivered on your door and it's like, here's all the artists that released music today yeah. in the, or in the last week. And it's like, <laughs> if you put it like that, it's like, it is kind of weird. Like you're being, this, it's you're insane. Having, I mean, we all follow a lot of like our friends who are artists and other artists we admire. And we're seeing literally hundreds of artists at one time doing a lot of different things. And it's like, if we're one person, you know, mm. we, we're not going to be able to keep up with that insane level of output because it's not actually someone's output. It's actually multiple people's output. If that makes sense, yeah, so yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a real struggle, though. Yeah, yeah. and I was mm. I was talking about this with my my therapist recently. Uh, yeah, like the the human brain isn't like hasn't evolved to deal with so many like people's lives. Like we were mm. just we used to live in like tribes and have close like relationships, and that was it until the internet, yes. where all of a sudden the rest of the world becomes plugged into your own brain, and your yeah. brain just isn't isn't designed to process what everybody else thinks or does or whatever. And that yep. can cause a lot of like anxiety. <laughs> oh, totally, man. It, it, I mean, social media specifically is, is a hard one to balance. Like to a degree it's important. And then sometimes I think the importance is overemphasized and it's like, like, for example, like mental health is far more important than in social media. Like, mm -hmm. so if that's what you need to prioritize and you should and, yeah, it's a bit of a tough one to balance. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah. Mm. but uh, but I like what you said about like you were taking on too many things and mm. learning to prioritize. And something I'm learning is like learning to be okay with times where you're not doing anything. That's yeah. also okay. Like you don't have to be doing something productive every minute of your waking life. Like it's okay 100%. to sit down. <laughs> yeah yeah like since i come back on holidays like i mean i think part of it, to bring up the old covid again like mm. everyone's also like hyper eager to do stuff um just in life and whether it's hanging out with people or going to this thing that's now on and stuff like that like in between at least in australia here in between these lockdowns where we've actually been able to do stuff everyone's been wanting to do things mm. so you kind of like a lot of your nights get taken up and like life just kind of is like almost feels like catching up for lost time but at the same time you have to realize like as 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 sucky as it is you can't live like a year a year of life in the next six months you know that it, yeah, it's gone yeah. and you kind of can't put too much pressure on yourself to be doing too much so yeah, yeah i've been trying to be more deliberate with like just being okay to not do anything at night and just kind of yeah. chill out sometimes and and read a book you know or, yeah or whatever and like I've been watching the Olympics a lot this last oh, week nice. and a half, <laughs> which has been really nice, honestly, like coming back and just like having that to like, just chill out and do, um, yeah. So yeah, no, hundred mm. percent. It's important. Yeah. yeah. Just like sit down and what we've been doing now with my wife is just like putting on a fire and choosing an album that came out recently and just like listening to it and then talking about the album and like not doing oh, that's anything. Awesome. Yeah, it's yeah, it's really, yeah. it's really good. We we did it with the recent uh, Billy Eilish just put out an album, so we were like, okay, nice. we're, we're gonna check it out. So we put on a fire, put on the album, and just listen to it and kind of 
chatted about what it made us feel or what we thought about it. And it's just That's like, so cool. yeah, you kind of slow down time. Like you don't have to be super productive all the time. It's a trap I definitely fell into in the past. Yeah. Tr- That's just trying, really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's like that's really nice because it's like it's kind of coming back to like how music was originally listened to. Like yeah. you 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 didn't do anything while you listened to it. You just listened to it and just appreciated it for what it was. Yeah. So it's really nice that yeah that you do that because yeah. um yeah it's like you can just focus on that one thing and yeah it's exactly, yeah. lovely yeah yeah and it's something I haven't done for ages. Like I I would listen to music on Spotify on my laptop and I'd be doing other stuff at the same time. So like just yeah. listening to music is kind of rediscovering what I, I used to do it when I was like a kid or even a teenager sometimes when I had CDs and I would put on a CD and just listen to it. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, good stuff. I'm talking more, more about myself here. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I love it. Like um, I, I, I totally think, yeah, music should be should be listened to like more. Yeah. Like, like just kind of as the sole activity you're doing and giving it all your attention, like. Yeah. It's what I used to do when I discover. That's what music discovery is for me. Is like, oh man, this is, this is a cool, cool song that I discovered just by like sifting through. Even if it is online, sometimes at least you're like yeah. listening to like this intently for the purpose of listening to music. So yeah, yeah that's really cool. Yeah, no, absolutely. Mm.